video, we're going to talk about the United Nations in maintaining international peace and security. This video is made for exam of international organization subject, international relations major in Binan Santara University. There will be explanation on how the United Nations works in maintaining peace and security worldwide through United Nations Security Council or UNSC with indicators such as purpose, role, definition, and case studies to help you understand how the UN works. Yes, and there will be questions at the end, so make sure you follow our question and follow our lesson. Um, okay, now let's start with the basic information about the UN. As you know, the UN is an IO or international organization with 193 members and their mission and works is must to be accordance with the principles and purposes of the UN Charter. There are six main organs in the UN, each with their own responsibilities. But we'll just focus on one of the six main organs, which is the UNSC, which is responsible for maintaining international security and peace. Members of the UNSC are consisting of 15 member states, with five permanent members, namely China, France, Russian Federation, United Kingdom, and also the United States, and the other 10 members are non-permanent members. According to the UN Charter, UNSC has several functions and powers. Some of them are to investigate any situation that might can harm peace, recommend methods, and what action should be taken when dispute is occurring. The other function are to determine the existence of a threat, take military action against an aggressor, as well as to use other non-force methods to prevent or stop the aggression. The peaceful methods that the Council may perform and prioritize are set the principles for an agreement, do an investigation, mediation, and facilitation. And in some cases, the Council may dispatch a mission and appoint special envoys. In but if the dispute will most likely lead to hostilities, the Council will have to take fast actions with issuing ceasefire and reducing tensions by sending off military observers or a peacekeeping force. And if the situation becomes worse, the Council may have to carry out the economic sanctions, arms embargoes, financial penalties and also restrictions, travel bans, and also bring off the diplomatic relations. Regardless of what action may be taken, they will have to try to minimize the impact of the dispute for the international community in other areas such as the economic global. To achieve international peace and security, the UNSC has a mechanism called the peacekeeping. The UN peacekeeping operation is a collective investment in a global peace, security, and stability. Peacekeeping on a mission was first created in response to the Suez Crisis in 1956. The creation of UNEF, the first United Nations peacekeeping force to resolve the case, represented a significant innovation within the United Nations. It is a peacekeeping operation to be carried out with the consent and the cooperation of the parties to the conflict. There are six main roles of the UN peacekeeping operation. The first one is to protect the civilians. The second one is the proven conflict, build rule and law and security institution, promote human rights, empower women and also deliver field support. We've talked about the general knowledge regarding UN peacekeeping operations. And now let's move on to the case study to see the case which showed the success of UN peacekeeping operations through UNTAC in Cambodia. So, in the years following the Second World War, Cambodia was torn apart by internal strife and the fallout of the Vietnam War that culminated in the four year reign of terror under Pol Pot. This event resulted many Cambodians lost their lives. Seeing this, UNSC sought for resolution to end the conflict through several negotiations and conferences. Finally, in February 1992, UNTAC was established. It was tasked with the conduct of free and fair general elections, military arrangement, civil administration, and also the resettlement of the Cambodian refugees and displaced persons. On 23 September 1993, the UNTAC and its and its mandate with successful mission, UNTAC operation achieved it, its primary objective of organizing, organizing and conducting free and fair elections. It also succeeded in removing the Cambodian conflict as a source of the regional tension. 
but it's still possible for the UN peacekeepers to fail on their mission. As happened in Bosnia, or often called as Bosnia Massacre, in 1995, the UN peacekeeping force failed to protect and resulted up to 20,000 Muslim men, teen boys, women, and children were brutally massacred around and within the safe areas. So what makes the United Nations Security Council so influential? So the UN Charter invests considerable political and legal authority in the Security Council, while other organs of the United Nations make recommendations to the member states. Only the Security Council has the power to make decisions that member states are then obligated to implement under the Charter. They are one. They are one of the most influential international institutions in the world because they can influence or make recommendations to member states, thus shaping state's foreign policy. Oh yeah, what about the soldiers we talked about earlier? Soldiers of peace or something? Oh, do you mean the UN peacekeepers? Yes. One of the power bestowed upon the Security Council is they were able to deploy UN troops to stabilize region where there is a conflict to maintain the peace. Hence, the name is the UN Peacekeeper. And that's it, our explanation about the UN in maintaining the international peace and security. And now, let's start to the questions. The first question is, who regulates the Security Council and why? The second question is, what are the results underlying the success and failure of United Nations peacekeeping operations? And that is the explanation about the United Nations in international peace and security. And we hope you can answer the question uh, with our explanation before. Any mistakes that we made during the video were purely unintentional. And also, we would like to thank our teammates behind the camera. Thank you and hope to see you again. Bye! Bye. Bye.